Main article. Searchlight sabotage during the Great War. The bombs forced the Searchlight Police Department to divert a convoy carrying nuclear waste from San Onofre into Searchlight, so that the waste could be safely stored. The trucks could be parked at the fire station without exposing them to nuclear blasts that would turn the sealed, secure fuel casks transported on the flatbeds into massive dirty bombs. The spent nuclear fuel rods remained there for over two centuries. When the new California Republic deployed in force to the Mojave, Searchlight was chosen as a site for a military base. Camp Searchlight was established, becoming a major communications and logistics hub for the NCR Army. However, this simultaneously made it a target for the Legion. Volpe's in Culta devised a plan that involved using fermentary to intercept shipments of supplies meant for the camp, depriving the troops of necessary materials and stockpiling them for later use by the Legion. As the supply issues worsened, tensions emerged among the camp's senior staff, and the fermentary waited for an opening in the camp's defenses. The opportunity came soon, as the patrol routes were changed again for operational security reasons. As usual, gaps opened in the patrol routes as the troops had to get used to the new schedule. The second initiative perpetrated by Volpes was the one that caused the camp's destruction. He sent in a small group of legionaries, ordering them to infiltrate the fire station and unseal the nuclear fuel casks, unleashing lethal levels of radiation on the camp. The legionaries were killed instantly alongside some NCR personnel. The rest of the NCR soldiers turned into ghouls or died soon thereafter of radiation sickness. Only a handful of troops out on patrol survived, rallying under 1st Sergeant Astor. In the meantime, a task force under Centurion Aurelius of Phoenix landed at Cottonwood Cove, establishing a beachhead on the western side of the Colorado River and immediately launching raids on both the surviving NCR troops and especially supply and trade caravans heading up to New Vegas. Further legionary groups moved up north and west as time went by, targeting Nelson and Nipton to lay the groundwork for the Second Battle of Hoover Dam. 